Bethesda have literally just put out a new article on the Fallout website, and boy oh boy are there some big things in here which I could not wait to tell you about. Some of which are, uh, there's a mixture of good and bad, if anything this can seen as a very bad one, yet I'm excited. And I'll explain all why. So first up, Wastelanders, you know that big update where we're getting NPCs coming in November, yeah we're all ready and hyped for it. Beginning of next year. <laughs> yep. It's Wastelanders is being delayed to Q1 next year, so probably the first few months, January, February or March, we'll see the Wastelanders update happen. Now, the reason they're delaying this is because it's going to need more time to be the best, most polished update it can be. Which, yeah, we continue to reevaluate and change our process to make sure the work we're doing hits our quality bar and yours. So, they obviously don't want to release this and it be bad, and I think Bethesda knows that Wastelanders is really the update that matters the most of all. Like, if Wastelanders is good, it could turn around public perception of the game entirely. If Wastelanders flops, well, that could be the start of the end, really, for this game. So, although it sucks that we won't be getting Wastelanders this year, I would much rather have it in a really good state where it revamps and brings a new life into the game than it to drop and be dead on arrival. That's... like, I'm willing to wait. It also makes it a lot easier for me content-wise, rather than having yet another thing to try and panic about. For the channel, this will likely mean slightly less Fallout 76 content over the next couple of months, just because Wastelanders isn't coming out and that was going to be the big thing I cover, but there will still be 76 content, of course, whenever there's a new update. They do talk about updates a little later on, but, I mean, they do... One of the coolest things is they share some, like, screenshots and stuff, which... what well, That first one is utterly beautiful. Like, I'm not sure quite how they've done that. That's... It looks really good, and I know you can get good-looking photos with the photo mode. But it looks like there might be a graphical update or something coming with Wastelanders as well, just by how good everything does look. And seeing, like, all of these creatures and stuff, it's... it's amazing. Like, I hope those are... like, screenshots from the version of the game they're working on, rather than it just being, like, a pure publicity shot. Like, I know these are shots to get us excited and stuff, but if they can upgrade, upgrade the graphics as well to make it look that good, that would be absolutely amazing and make me fall in love with the game even more. So that's a big thing on Wastelanders. We don't know too much about what's coming other than what we've previously been shown, but it is getting delayed till Q1 next year, so not coming until 2020. Means more time for Outer Worlds and Borderlands 3 and any of these other games you're playing over the Christmas season, I guess. Something which is apparently coming soon are private worlds, so your own private servers. And they've said here, we're happy to announce our work on the service for private servers is complete and will be launching next week. Yes, next week we are getting private servers, which is a lot sooner than I was expecting. I... wow, that is... that is pretty amazing. And yeah, this is going to be a purchased one, so you have to pay for it from the sounds of things, because it says, our goal for players who purchase this service is to offer something for everyone, not just those who want a private server. So, yeah, and additionally, in the future you'll be able to mod the worlds that you buy, but at the start it seems like this isn't going to be the case, it might take a few more updates for that. And this is just, yeah, a lot of people are excited about this, and I'm glad to see it come. The fact that it does say, who purchased this service, as a direct quote, likely means it's going to take money, and that might actually put me off getting a private server of my own, because if it's more than, like, a pound a month or something incredibly cheap, I just wouldn't be able to justify it. Like, as a business expense, it could be too much for me to manage, but I'm sure plenty of people out there will make their own private servers. I'm sure lots of the big modders want to have their own modded 76 server where they do their own world, and it opens up so many more possibilities for the game. Also means a lot of the people who... Maybe we're a bit bored in adventure mode, so just end up griefing or messing about and trying to ruin other people's days. Maybe they instead go into their own private worlds where they can play by their own rules. So, good things all round on that. Until we know, like, pricing points for it, I'm not going to be too excited, but it's good to hear that that's coming just next week, so not long to wait for that. 
Now, the probably worst news overall for me personally is the Atom Shop is changing a little bit because they've looked at their data and the items that sell best in the Atom Shop are the utility items, so the fridge, the collectron station, scrap kits and repair kits. Previously they had said we were keeping things purely cosmetic, but they haven't, and the not being purely cosmetic has worked well for them, so they're going to make more utility items, some more stuff which brings up the whole pay to win discussion. Now I'm not getting into that actual discussion here, because that's a whole other thing and depends on a case-to-case -case basis and what your own personal definition of pay-to-win is, because everyone has it a bit different, which makes it a nightmare to talk about. But it does mean it's not just going to be a um, cosmetic-only thing. There's going to be lots more practical stuff you can buy with atoms, which can be earned in-game or through actual cash. So I'm not happy to hear that, personally. I don't like that whole element of things, like I like being able to earn things in-game rather than through the credit card, but I'm guessing that's just what they need to do to keep the game alive and to just afford extra time for people to be working on it. Because all of the big content updates are free, but between this and public ser uh, private servers, they obviously are trying to get more money flowing in from this game. And I'm guessing that's probably because it's not doing too amazing, but it might just be even wanting to make more money, because it is a business at the end of the day. And they have said that because players can buy atoms, they're going to be careful about not doing anything to upset the game's balance, so don't expect like a magical god gun to appear in the atom shop, just small stuff like the refrigerator, the collectron station and so on, which do give you small benefits, but aren't going to completely reshape the game for you just by a swipe of your credit card. Now, whether or not everyone's happy about this and everyone can accept that will remain to be seen, but I'm hoping they manage to at least strike a bit of a balance, because I can sympathise with them wanting to make more money from the game, and that being a necessity of the game, but if things get out of hand, I won't be happy. Now, as for the rest of the year, it seems that their focus is much more on just small little fixes and quality of life improvements, so... I wouldn't expect anything too big content-wise coming until Wastelanders, but there will be plenty of like patches here and there to hopefully, hopefully, fix various big uh, bugs and issues and other things. Which I am very happy to hear, because I think all of that stuff needs to be sorted before Wastelanders drops, because Wastelanders will get old players back and plenty of new players in, but until the stuff is fixed, I don't feel Wastelanders can come out, so... Roll on all the bug fixing and all of that excellent stuff. They do make sure to also let us know that they're working on new events, the legendary player system, which we still haven't heard stuff about, a public test server, I know a fair few people in the comments will be happy about that, perk loadouts, I know a lot of people in the comments will be happy about that, I had someone just comment yesterday saying that needs to be a thing, and there's also obviously plenty more stuff to come. And that's really it for the article. There's... Yeah, it's it's a bit of a mix, but I'm I'm excited despite it kind of being bad news more than good news because I'd like Wastelanders to be delayed if it means it comes out at a reasonable state. I don't want something that has been rushed. I want something that's been given the time it needs and that I can jump into and be like, wow, this is amazing, and gets more people back to the game because we all want more people playing this game. But, man, it's it's tough to get people excited about a game which bugs out a lot and doesn't have human NPCs or large faction systems that work like previous Fallout games. So, Wasteland is going to change a lot, and I'm happy they're taking their time with it. Obviously, I did say, as for the channel, this kind of means you'll probably see a little less 76 content over the next few months, but when Wastelanders comes out, I'll be able to pick up on that, and you'll likely see a bit of resurgence in this. Please do watch some of my Borderlands 3 content if you're interested in that game. I started a new series called Should You Farm It just the other day. There'll be another episode coming out on Saturday. It's a series I'm having a lot of fun with. And Outer Worlds releases in... Uh, eight days? Is that eight days? I think it's eight days till Outer Worlds releases, so expect content on that coming in the next week or two as well. As always... Thank you for watching, link to the little article will be in the description below, 
And that is it from me. Oh, do leave your thoughts in the comments as well. I'm interested to see how people feel about this whole update. Anyway, outros are rambling. As always, thanks for watching. Sarge out. <laughs>